Howdy. How you doing? Good to see ya. Hope you're having a good day so far. I'm Mags. Welcome back. If it's your first time joining, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a generalized reading. Uh, I've already been having a few different messages come in. One was really odd. And I don't know why anyone would lie about this other than they're really trying to impress you. So you may be having someone come into your experience that's really wanting to impress you. Uh, what I mean by that is I kept getting a, a, a download that someone was lying about the type of vehicle that they drove, that they were telling you they had like a really nice vehicle when in fact they don't. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Take it as it resonates. Maybe, um, I don't know, just pay attention to that because to me, that's a red flag. If you're just meeting someone and they're lying about the kind of car that they drive or for whatever reason, like it's just kind of odd to me. So I was getting that. Um, this is going to be for all Zodiac signs. Let's go ahead and get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our bed this morning and thank you for connecting us with you. Glory to the most high for we are nothing without you forever and ever, amen. <clears throat> I ask that you use me for clear, concise, true messages for the collective, please. For their greatest and highest good, abundance and sustenance. I had a huge success this morning, y'all. So I feel like that energy is really um, picking up momentum right now. I feel like that's in the collective as a whole. Um, mm -hmm. I'm now seeing the Olympic rings. Speaking of, I didn't put my ring back on after putting the rose oil back on. Isn't this so pretty? That was my mom's. I love this ring. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Channelings for the collective, please. Then we're going to clear the energy. I just heard, open your windows. Open your windows. There's something about airing your um, environment out, even if it's cold. Spirit's encouraging you to um, maybe sage your, your home, Palo Santo, really do some heavy prayer, some meditation over your space, 2 to 2 on the clock. There's something about how this is going to really help give you just a lot more of a higher quality focus of whatever you are trying to maybe manifest while you're in your home, especially if you work remotely um, or even from a family or familial standpoint. There's something about that here. What else do we have coming in for uh, the collective spirit? Any other channelings I can provide to them? I heard James Brown. So you might be listening to James Brown music. You might want to try listening to James Brown music. It might put you in a better mood. There's something about that. I'm seeing a swimming pool. You may be going swimming. Mm -hmm. I can hear the water hitting the sides of a pool. Um, take it as it resonates. Such a good exercise, such a good exercise, especially on joints if you have arthritis. <clears throat> okay, I heard the first name. I heard Julie and then Julia Fredrickson. Could be totally three different names I just gave you there. Could be someone's full name. I heard Harris Town. Harris Town. Is that in Pennsylvania? I heard the word sophomore. Woo! Okay, that was a heavy one. Sophomore. You're either a sophomore in college or a sophomore in high school, or there's something energetically about your your energy is at a sophomore level. I'm getting a lot of downloads right now. Okay, spirit. I'm being shown someone who has braces. Spirit is honing in on, I'm getting like an angle where I can see up into the roof of their mouth and they have an expander on. If you don't know what that is, um, I, a lot of people have had it, some haven't. Um, <clears throat> I had one, it was actually a very painful process back when I had braces. Um, it's, it's a thing that they put up onto your upper roof of your mouth. It's a metal contraption and you have to turn it with a key and it widens your jaw. I'm seeing an expander. 
has to do with teeth. So there's something here, you may have that going on. You may be dealing with someone who's getting braces. Maybe you've just gotten a consultation. I feel it's more about the energetic, but there's a tie in here with your mouth and your teeth and your speaking. Maybe you're expanding in your communication. Yeah, yep. I, I'm getting like, there's something here about there's a, a, a learning of higher level education on your communication styles as a whole. Maybe you're learning through your communication, just like where you want to make some tweaks or, or refine. I don't know. There's something there. Anything else, Spirit? We're going to go ahead and get into this. We're already five minutes. Let's go. Clear the energy. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're going to start out with the Fountain Tarot here. All right. So let's see what's coming in. That was a lot of channelings. I haven't had that many channelings in a minute. Five, five, five. Let's roll. Let's come in for the collective for their greatest and highest good. I say you remove all of my bias from this reading, please, spirit. I'm seeing a dump truck back up and unload a, a load of dirt. Okay. Justice. Whoever you are, there is a very massive shift happening today or in the next week that is a karmic justice being served in your life. I feel like this is going in your favor. I feel like you're walking away from something very detrimental uh, to your energy. Whether this was another person, whether this was something that was no longer serving you, whether this was a job, whether this was with a potential Scorpio or Libran, uh, whether this was something that truly could have harmed you. We've got the death and the eight of cups right here. We also have justice. So I feel like there is a major rebirth going on a new rebirth or renewal of energy but again i feel like something has really been finalized here you've got you know what this energy feels like right now it feels like um remember the game telephone when you would like whisper something into someone's ear and then they would whisper into someone else's ear and then they would whisper and then by the time it would go all the way around the circle, it'd be a totally different bit of information. I feel like there's a need or whatever has been going on, it's been a very quiet process for you or will be a very quiet process for you or a very quiet success or win or something of that magnitude. I also feel divorce energy, like um, you may be getting a divorce with somebody. I'm picking up on someone who is truly going through a divorce right now. Um, my condolences, I'm sorry about that. That's never easy. Spirit's in the house. Spirit has your back, okay? Spirit wants me to acknowledge just how much they're at your side during this time. I... There is something here that they are hiding from you that is not coming to your awareness, that will be coming into your awareness within the next five hours, five days. I don't feel it's any longer than that. So this is going to be coming in here. This is new incoming energy. I feel like because of how well you have handled this or will be handling this whole karmic cycle, spirit's rewarding you. And it's going to be in a very... It's going to, I feel like it's going to bring you to tears because it's going to be in, um, it might be in the 3D materialistic type of way, but I feel like it's, it's going to be in a very gifted spiritual way or like a, uh, energetic love. You're going to feel the love from spirit and from the universe, and you're going to know exactly why you're receiving it. You're also possibly going to be receiving a offer from someone else um, that really, really cares about you, that wants equal give and take. This is someone who I believe you've already been connected with. I feel like this is someone you may have had a past with. Um, this may be someone you're currently not talking to, something to that magnitude. But we've got Ace of Cups and we've got the Six of Cups. So let's go a little bit deeper on here. That, that even could be the reward is because you've handled this situation and you're really being smart with your decision making, you're now being rewarded with love. Take it as it resonates. Tell me more. Thank you. King of Wands. I'm telling you. 
I feel like someone is really going to take action towards you, vice versa. This person really admires you. I don't feel like they've told you this. Not in the... Like if they've told you, it's been a minuscule of what their actual emotions are about it on this topic. Um, I feel like your energy makes this person want to come towards you. It's kind of magnetic. I feel like you are also magnetically attracted to this person. There's six of pentacles on the bottom. There is a lot of mutual respect here. Um, I feel like that's going to be discussed. I feel like... If you have not been in communication with this person, the amount of communication that's going to come in is going to be a very healthy, respectful, very evenly matched back and forth. Yeah, communication. This person has a lot of love for you, and I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Again, if this is not love related, this could, it could be anybody. Um, we'll, we'll go a little bit deeper, but this is someone who truly does care about you. Yeah. Look at this nine of swords. We had it in the reverse. So this person may have been really anxious about you or about the situation with you. I feel like you've maybe been in your head and had anxiety about this person because this is a different energy. It's like, we've got the karmic cycle ending out here. Then we've got spirit smack dab in the middle running things. Okay. This is boss. This is who's in charge, right? But then this person and this love situation or this love offer is a totally different energy. And again, it's like, I feel like it's, it's like the um, event, spirit determining, and then here's the reward. Okay. Tell me more. Thank you. Queen of Wands. We now have a pair. King and Queen of Wands. We also have wish fulfillment here with nine of cups. And then we had the seven of cups in reverse. So this person, if they had options, there are no more, um, no one else is around that would even perk their interest. Uh, I feel like you are getting a massive wish fulfillment. This person's wish fulfillment would be to have um, equal give and take with you to potentially really create something beautiful here. The king and queen of wands are, it's the power couple. It's the, um, they're both very attractive people spiritually, soul wise, their vibration is very attractive, but also their physical vessel is very attractive as well. When they are together, it's almost an unbreakable, unpenetrable, um, I'm hearing bomb. Uh, not as in an explosion, but like the protection level. That's interesting that that just came through that way. A bomb that's needing to be protected because if this were to, if this were to explode, it would like, I heard collateral damage, but like also these two energies impact so many on their own individually. Okay. Each one of these people is a leader. You and your person, whoever this is, your leaders, naturally, you are responsible for other people's um, motivation or inspiration, and you don't even realize that you're responsible for it. Spirit has naturally designed your makeup to help guide people that really, really need some guidance, okay? That's a really heavy message right now that I'm getting downloads on. So let me go ahead. I'm going to switch decks. We'll go a little bit deeper on this. There's King of Pentacles on the bottom. This is a heavy commitment. I feel like the two of you are really committed to one another, even if you've never spoken about it. I feel like this is a very mature energy as well. And then, yeah, we got the Ten of Cups underneath that. Look at that. Wow. I told you there is so much love and there's a Knight of Coins. So we've got the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Coins, meaning there is a massive offer coming in. This is this is so much love. There's the Empress. Wow. Yeah, three of wands on the bottom. Like so much. Um, and there's the Ten of Coins. Oh my God, dude. This energy between you and whoever this is is no joke. Okay, this is the real freaking deal right here. I have a lady walking in front of my window with her dog. Dogs represent loyalty. The amount of loyalty that the two of you have for one another, even when you question it, even if you question it, it's unbreakable. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Empress energy, divine feminine energy is almost umbrellaing this entire thing, which is really cool. So let's switch decks. Let's go to my muse tarot. Tell us more, please. Let's 
What say you, spirit? What's coming in for the collective? Thank you. Six of Pentacles again. So that that mutual agreement, that mutual boundaries uh, that have been implemented, the mutual uh, I heard contract. I feel like there's a verbal contract that's being put into place with you and this person. I feel like it's a very healthy plan of action. Spirit just said confirmed. Thank you. Uh, I feel like it's a very healthy. I keep hearing like a plan of action. So like maybe, like. Maybe if things kind of got off track with this person, like that's about to be corrected big time. Thank you. Hi, Priestess. Your intuition is on point. I feel like your intuition and your gifts are heightening as well at this time. Majorly. Majorly. Thank you. I also feel... Wow. Wow. Okay, so separate message, but whoever you are, whoever your person is, okay, you are like for real psychic or you're really getting some psychic abilities or something is really coming in with your intuition being very, very heightened at this time. You, because of this, are now able to see heartbreaks that your person has had that they've never even told you about that maybe now you're able to finally understand why they act the way they do. Okay, we have three of voices. This is the three of swords. Look at how trapped in their head they are. I feel like this person has not told you about half of the heartbreaks they've been through. They've maybe only told you about like the top one or two, maybe three. But the thing is, is like your person has been through a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. A lot of trauma. And um, Part of the reason they're so in love with you or they love you so much is because you make them feel so comfortable with everything that's happened in their life. You don't make them feel judged. Uh, I don't feel like even when you put them in your head, they know in the deep, they know deep down that like that's not your intention. Whereas others, they feel it is the intention. Yeah, I, yeah thank you. Um Spirit, Spirit's talking to me. Uh, so I feel like this is such a beautiful, intricate, intimate relationship, friendship, um, whatever it is, partnership. It is, it is so sensitive and beautiful. We then had the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Chariot come out. So this is, again, so now we've got, we had the King of Pentacles on the bottom, remember? I showed you that King of Pentacles. So now we have a court match again. So we have King and Queen of Pentacles as well as the King and Queen of Wands. All right. So when you take the power couple that I described earlier, here, with that energy, and now we're talking, this is like spouse, hubby and wife. These are the the mom and dad of the of the of the tarot deck, in my opinion. Um, you and your person both may have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somewhere. This is a very equal energy, but I want to just show the difference. And I love the artwork on this on these decks because that is it's really matching y'all's energy. Okay, so this is your person's energy, whether they're female or male. This person's a very serious person. Um, they are very fatherly or motherly in that aspect. They're very much about their finances, holding it down, making sure you're feeling comfortable and nurtured and taken care of. This person is very stable. Okay. The other energy is a very feminine type of energy, uh, but very serious. I feel like this energy almost masks, or I shouldn't say masks, like hides the stability aspect sometimes on purpose. Uh, but this person is all about growing. Look at all of the flowers around her. This is someone who knows how to grow. Mother Earth, nature. This person is very connected with nature. This is divine feminine energy across the board, okay? So when you pair these two together, it's like the balancing act that they do for each other energetically is absolutely beautiful beautiful. So I love that that's coming out for you. Again, this is a wish fulfillment that's coming true. So if you've been wanting to uh, maybe fix things with this person or talk to this person or get more committed or more serious with this person, it's coming in big time and it's coming quickly. This person may have a uh, cancer in their chart somewhere, 
But either way, these two energies together, it's like your wish fulfillment's already here. It's already, it's already yours. It's like claim it. Claim it in the comments below. But this is already here. This is also a very emotional boost in your partnership or relationship with this person. This is going to be a very emotional, rewarding, fulfilling energy that comes through. It's going to go from a very peaceful and calm energy to a very warm, loving, and passionate. I can feel the transition. It's like going from lukewarm water that you feel really cozy in to like a really hot bath that you can just ugh, melt into, okay? Similar, but not the same. Does that make sense? So let's wrap it up there. Um, final messages. Let's go to my archetype deck. Final messages for my collective. I hope that this resonated. If it did, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. I'm hearing a whole new world from Aladdin. I'm hearing that song. A whole new world. Yeah, this is, this is a brand. This is a totally different. There's something going on alongside the moon cycles here. And I believe we have a new moon on Sunday or Monday. Pretty sure it's a new moon. There's something about blackbirds here as well. So pay attention to blackbirds, crows, actual blackbirds, or or even, I even heard vultures. If you see any of those birds, there's something correlating with what the energy is at during that exact moment. So pay attention to what you're doing. There's something here about this person's eyes and your eyes. There's something here about your eye contact. Yeah, there's a sort of truth right there. This person's a very honest person. You are a very honest person. If that has, uh, if there's been any hiccups or communications or miscommunications, that is exiting. I feel like spirit is purposely bringing down the sword of truth, um, loyalty, correctness, authority, righteousness. It's coming down from spirit. I feel like... It's going to take this to the next level. Yeah, 222 on the clock. It's going to take this to the next level. So tell me more. Thank you. Too many. Thank you. Divine feminine energy. What did I just say about blackbirds? Okay. There's something really mystical or magical going on behind the scenes here. You've been getting signs of it, bits and pieces, clues. If you haven't yet, you will be. I'm being reminded of an article I read earlier this morning talking about a guy that would put peanuts out for the birds. Um, and slowly the crows actually started bringing him rubber bands. And so then he would switch up the, um, from peanuts to like, you know, some other type of seed or, or whatever. And they started bringing him different things, shiny things, rubber bands, pens, all of this. One day they brought him a $20 bill. Since then, they have now brought him over $200. And each time he would take the money and he would reinvest in different snacks for them. It was like a, it was like an exchange here. I'm being reminded of that story, especially with this crone energy here, because I feel like your meditations, your growth right now, your energy shifts are very much in alignment with the universe if you're paying attention. And the universe wants to give you confirmation, but also show you in the 3D, the actual exchange, so you can understand more in the 5D sense. So you can um, level up in the 5D and keep moving to the next dimension after that. So it's it, there's something really here with that. Interesting how he has a coin in his feet or her feet, right? A gift, a seed. I just said about seeds, nuts, right? We're talking about that. Uh, perverted, get a nut, get a seed. Okay, birth, child wearing, something like that. Um, I'm really focusing on the pearl here in the middle. I just heard the words clammed up. So I feel like there has been an energy that's been clammed up on purpose. Clammed up in the sense that it wasn't allowed to be released yet. 
think of like a clam when it opens up finally but it is very difficult to get open right so there was something energetically that was like that I feel like I'm connecting with people who are blaming themselves for that, but, but like, okay, give me the right words on that spirit. So I feel like I'm connecting with people who were blaming themselves on a stagnant situation. You did everything that you could have done. Um, spirit is saying there's nothing you could have done to have made that progress quicker or change sooner or something like that. I'm really being told that, but I really want to also focus on, you know, we're moving into spring here. Spring's like 50 days away or something like that. Um, that is the time to plant. And then in the fall, we harvest, right? We're moving into mating season as well. So there's something here about planting your feet, your energy, your seed, 555 five, five on the clock, right? When I said that, um, I'm, I keep getting these downloads. I'm seeing farms, I'm seeing fields, I'm seeing tractors planting seeds. Because right now it's almost like, again, a stagnancy, no growth hot heat turned all the way up hallucinations of, of mirages or uh, of water and, and things like that notice how the hand is reaching for the moon i'm telling you this moon cycle this next moon cycle something's coming in big time that's that's going to shift this energy the creator and the judge you are <clears throat> Okay, that was really specific. I just heard loud and clear. You are being judged by your creator. Based off of what you have created, I'm being shown an easel. I'm sh I'm being shown somebody painting. I'm now I'm being shown all sorts of different types of art. I'm seeing a photographer. I'm seeing someone painting. I'm seeing someone sitting at a computer and designing something. I am seeing someone build a furniture. I am seeing someone uh, build a sand castle in the sand. Uh, it's an actual competition where they're like the real legit sand castles. Uh, this is okay, Spirit. I understand what you're saying. So Spirit's really wanting me to focus in on. Maybe you've been really judgmental on what you've created thus far, but you are not focusing on what you have ahead of you to create. Planting the seed, creating, growing. I feel like you've also been humbled in this process. Look at how this card, so it's like a, it's like a stop, go. Nope, I'm not gonna give anything to you. Okay, here's my hand, go ahead, take it. There's something here like spirit really was um, purposely almost toying with you during this process. I feel like I'm connecting maybe with someone who, sta who was stagnant because of their creativity being blocked. Maybe that's something you were too afraid to even tell anybody and that's okay. Like we all go through creative blocks all the time. Come on now, that's, that's okay. See, okay, I love this energy for you. I love this energy. Look how bright and cheery, first and foremost. It says, life always offers you a second chance, and it's called tomorrow. That is what spirit is wanting me to point out. Your creations, the things that you still want to bring into fruition can happen tomorrow. Today, tomorrow. Stop looking back. I keep hearing, stop looking back. And so I wait. I wait for the time to heal the pain and raise me to my feet once again. Now I can start a new path, my own path, the one that will make me whole once again. Look at this healing coming in for you. This is absolutely beautiful. We also had, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of being on your own, of being your own creator, okay? You, it, it appears here that you got someone who really wants to create with you that you want to create with, but spirit really wants me to focus in on like, your own creation is only going to help grow this even more, okay? So it's about really focusing on you and your creator and saying thank you for the ability to being able to create, okay? So I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Any final messages, Spirit? Anything else I can throw? All right, let's say Moology. Give me three. Thank you for stopping by. If you'd like to go a little bit further on a one-on-one -on -one private reading, all the information will be in the box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Fiery climax approaches. I'm telling you, I kept saying this energy is gaining momentum. It's very passionate, very passionate. A new start is coming. It's like your, uh, 
your creative block is being removed, your, um, your manifestations are going to be coming in much quicker. And all of this has been slowly but surely building up. And if you really need a confirmation, it's here, homies. Okay, like it is here. Last one. Please and thank you, spirit. Final message for my collective, please. Well, you gave me a few. All right. We've got look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. It's time to take action. Show the world the real you. And a win-win outcome is forecast. 30-30 on the clock, all right? This is nothing but good stuff, man. This is a great reading. I was really excited to do this for you. Uh, take, take time to breathe out. Focus on your breathing, your anxiety levels. Go out in nature. Go for a walk. Again, open your windows. Clear your house out. Clear your space out. Uh, I, I see nothing but great things coming in. Again, I'm estimating five hours to five days on a lot of this energy kind of shifting for you. But um, if you have any other comments or anything you'd like to share, again, please comment below. And I will chit-chat with y'all later. Bye.